suscríbete que no te cuesta nada y dale me gusta que es gratis. Antes de empezar, no te olvides de darle me gusta, pulsar el dedito de arriba, que no te va a costar nada, es totalmente gratis para que este vídeo llegue a más culés como tú. Yeah, 99 goals, yes. <coughs> I know that. You know, if I if I knew it before, maybe I I, uh, I haven't changed him before. So, but it's, it was my fault. But no, it's it's uh, we have we have to to think about uh, also the next match. You know, today he's got two goals, very important goals. It's the second, uh, the first one uh, was our second goal, the two one, was was very important for us because um, you know. We, we played well and, and um, we scored the first goal and then we get the 1-1. One, one. And what I see th after that is that the, the team, the team um, yeah, come back and this is really good to see that because we have a young team and, and they, they have to, to uh, increase and, and we, we, we do it every game, every game and uh, this is really good to see. Yes. Hola, Hansi. Aquí Luis Falker, en directo para el larguero y Muguts de la cadena SER. Goleada ante el Sevilla, ante el Bayern, He scored lots of goals against Sevilla, against Real Madrid. Looking back, what do you think has been the, the change to get your, your team to do, do so well in these games? What my team has done so far is increasing our matches. Yeah. You 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 um, you asked about about the matches we yeah. we did okay no you don't know the performance you can see it and and they are doing really good um, about the match plan we have and and uh, they realize it uh, on the pitch and then this is this is good to see Victor. <coughs> Hola, buenas noches, señor Flick. Eh, Víctor Lozano, en directo para el Radio Estadio de Onda Cero. Me gustaría eh, concretar en un nombre el de, el de Jules Koundé. Me gustaría concretar en un nombre el de Jules Koundé. Hay mucho que aporta en defensa, pero es que también en ataque había dos asistencias. Defensively, he gave the three assists, no though, today, which uh, lateral, defensa, hadn't happened with a defender uh, since uh, Jordi Alba. Can you explain tanto en defensa como sobre todo en esta, what he offers you uh, defensively and in attack? Equipo. Gracias. <coughs> I think it's so with a it's a good example for for the whole team. You know, uh, I think we had a lot of players. Uh, they improved a lot uh, this season. They increase um, their their performance and and also Jules. Uh, Jules is an absolute professional player. You know, very focused on on uh, on the pitch, also on the on the training. And uh, yeah, appreciate that that he also today. Um, Give, uh, how say that? Give the the last pass to to the goats, and and this is very good to see that. Hola, qué tal? Buenas noches, well, uh, señor right. Flick. Manuel Oliveros, uh, Cadena Cope, en directo para el partidazo. Ah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, primero, cómo está Cubarsí? First of all, how is Kubarsi doing? And also, could you imagine being so happy with Lewandowski? Would it be better if he scored the 100th Champions League goal for him at home? To be honest, I, I don't care about these things. You know, I just uh, see the match. I see the next. Um, our next target, and, and this is this is uh, San Sebastian, and we have to play on Sunday. And also, uh, we need we need players uh, there by 100 percent. So uh, this was uh, uh, the reason why we changed him. Um, and and Paul, he has a cut here, and um, but he's he's doing good. It's okay. Nothing else. It's a stitch, and and uh, and it's good. He's laughing, so it's okay. Hello. Uh, congratulations for the for the victory, Jordi Blanco, de ESPN. Uh, a mí me gustaría preguntarle uh, en las jugadas del, del like fuera de juego. The, uh, si a usted le gustaría que moves, cambiara la regla en like el sentido the, uh, de que se deja the, uh, the acabar toda la jugada cuando el fuera de juego es muy anterior. Because, uh, 
There's been a lot of moves which uh, just uh, run on and run on for 20 or 30 uh, seconds before the flag is raised. Because of the risk, there exists a, a player can get injured uh, a silly play. Yes, this is, I think I said it three, three matches before, the only thing what I don't like is that, that we, we have to run uh, back um, in this situation. But at the end, it's, it's, really, it's, it's not easy to, to see that. And, and um, it's our style, how we want to play, our idea, how we want to play football. And, and uh, at the end, it helps us to be really uh, a compact unit. And, and this is what, what we want. And, and uh, yeah, in the last line, they have to take care about all these, uh, these things, and, and they're doing also good. Pozdrav za gospodina Flika. Bili ste ovde u Beogradu, pobedili ste i sa Bayernom takođe ubedljivo. Imam dva pitanja za vas. Prvo je, ako možete da nam objasnite moć Barcelone u odnosu na Crvenu zvezdu. I druga stvar, kako ste videli ambijent i atmosferu u kojoj ste igrali i da li vam se... I, I started with the second one because it's 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 really yeah it, it's it's for every footballer it's it's great to to play in such uh, atmosphere it's uh, it's really fantastic to, uh, to see this and and uh, they support uh, their own team and it's it's good to see so I I know it uh, also with Bayern Munich. Um, but you know about my team, it's um, and the difference is, is I think we have a, a lot of ball possession, and this is also what what uh, we want to do today, to keep the ball um, playing. Um, had a lot of ball possession and combine uh, really, really well, and and we we did it. I, I was really happy about that because uh, I think it was was important for today because when we you, you also can see well. When the opponent has the ball, it's not not easy for uh, to to defend that. So at the end, at the end, uh, I think our 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 goal was uh, or our target today was uh, to press them, to let them not play, and we did it really good. Sí, Bonanit, Hansi, Paul Vallus here sí. from from the Athletic. I can ask in English if you want. Um, it was the first start of Frankie de Jong in seven months of, of football. The last start was in April in El Clasico last season. Um, I, I wanted to, to ask you, yeah, if you're happy like about his progression. I know that you said before the Sevilla game that he was planned to start that game, but he had some discomfort and didn't start. But he started today, and yeah, if you're happy with it, how is he coping with the injury, and how is he doing generally? No, I think it's, it, was, it was a clear plan after... Also, also before before the last match. So um, last match we decided that Danny should play. Also he came from an injury, and um, so we have to take care about these players. And today was was good um, for Frankie to to start also for for the team because uh, you know he's he's a captain and also give us um, with the ball. Uh, stability and there's always uh, good connections between uh, the defense and the offense and and um, I think he's doing good and and uh, also he improved a lot so um, I think it was uh, a right step in in the in the right way. Gracias, Bonanit. Bonanit.